What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Party Hunt. And today we're gonna talk about uh, just a quick couple of tips. You know, it's about to start winter time, the snow about to start falling, and just a couple little couple little things you need to know that might save you out there. Number one, in the winter time, do not set your trailer brakes. I repeat, do not set your trailer brakes. Set your tractor brakes, do not set your trailer brakes. Because the tractor brakes, the motor gonna keep them cool. They ain't gonna keep them from, they gonna keep them from freezing up if the motor on. But back there ain't no motor, so you know what it is. And always keep some alcohol. Lines freeze up, you can pour a little alcohol in your uh, glad hands. And you gotta have, not this one, but I mean, you gotta have a good flashlight. It's always good to have it already, but if you don't, make sure you got a good one. This one I got is Boss. It's got a magnet on the bottom to stick the metal. It's also pretty heavy. I can club the shit out of somebody and then, bow. You know what I mean? If that ain't enough for you, we'll go ahead and kick it like that. You know what I mean? If that ain't enough, we gonna go ahead and if we need the emergency, you know, we gotta get the people out there. You see what I'm saying? We in duress. We are in duress. Okay, now that's enough of my shit. Hey, just let you see. And, and it also, it, it also, hold on. Also, that thing bad boy, it also extends up here too. And not only that, no batteries, people. Abilene. Uh, it has a charger port. So you charge it up. So it's always good to have a good flashlight. Uh, I'd advise you to spend a little money on flashlight. This is, how much was this flashlight, babe? $45? This flashlight was $45, but it's well worth it. No batteries, none of that bullshit. We cool with it. Oh, another thing. Uh, I know a lot of you, your companies may be like, oh, you don't have to throw chains. You don't have to throw chains. Uh, my company's like the two. They say you don't have to throw chains. But it was either I throw the chains or I sit there until spring. So I'd advise you, if you don't know how to throw chains, get familiar with them. At least know how to throw your chains. Cause I really, it's better to know how to throw them in case you're in a situation where... It's, I don't been in a situation, you know, between Cali and Reno. If you don't know, you will find out. Uh, it can get real hectic. It can get real hectic. And you might be in a situation where you're going to have to chain up to get up out of there before it gets too nasty. So you don't want to get caught in a situation where it's like negative five or some shit and it's snowing like crazy and you don't know how to throw chains. You know what I'm saying? It's just best to be prepared. I know some of you are like, oh, I ain't throwing no chains, but I mean, you do what you want to. If you choose not to know, you know what I mean? It do sound good, but I mean, if you choose what that's what you want to do, you feel like you don't need to learn it, and that's cool, but you know, where I was at, if we would have sat there not chained up, everybody else was chained up, getting on up out of there. We could have sat, and I mean, there's no bathroom. That need man, city food gonna run out, and and the snow is not gonna stop coming. So, and and, and those still gotta get places, people. They still gotta get places, and they still gonna need people to run. And either you gonna refuse all those loads. I don't know how you come to go see that. How that's gonna work out for you in a situation. But I'm just saying, it's just my advice to you would be to if you don't know how to throw chains, just know how to throw. Know how to throw your chains. Good flash like that. Say always, you got multitask and emergencies. Being checking out shit, and then you can knock somebody out with it all at the same time. One, two, forty-five dollars. I'm talking about team winning, and not only that, no batteries. Slide King, look at that. You might find someone, but we bought it in. I think it was Tennessee, some gas station, some gas, some off-brand ass gas station we never go to. So I can't even tell you what was that, but it was in uh, it was somewhere in Tennessee. Bad, bad joint though. Bad. I usually don't get the food about it. it was somewhere in Tennessee, you know, when you get down deep down south, you might get some fire fried chicken. Hey, oh, we gotta get back. To, I gotta get back to Virginia and get some Wingtown. We'll be nice for Wingtown for my birthday. We 800. How many miles we is away from there? Oh my god. Oh my god. You talking about 14, 1500 miles? I ain't gonna make it. No Wingtown for my birthday, y'all. It's all good. It's all good. I need to be out here, but we got some shit we need to do. We could have been home, but um, nah, we ain't could have been home. It's difficult for me to plan for your birthday. Cause, Cause what? One minute you like to be in VA, one minute you like we gonna be on the road, the next minute you like we ain't stopping. So uh, uh, and still right now to this very second. What? I mean, I'm stop at 12 o'clock, it's my birthday, for a couple hours, hey, it's my birthday, ah, yeah, it's nice, maybe about an hour, maybe about an hour break, and then, uh, back to the money, it's just my birthday.
they came. It just, it's a blessing. You know, midnight night. Sturdy gloves. You want some to have boots. Them? Some good boots. Some good waterproof boots. Yeah, gloves and boots. Oh, those are key. Preferably. Yeah, get some, I'm gonna get the coverall joke. Yeah, yeah, that one they crawl up on the cars with. Yeah. I'm gonna have that on this winter. That'd be right. the best bet. And I pull those sweatsuit on. Yeah, I got my winter. I got, I got buy a sweatsuit for the winter. My winter sweatsuit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that cover all joint. We're gonna see, okay? Uh, last tractor. Hey, that's it. This is Boy Party. All y'all stay safe. Stay safe. Great.